a very good afternoon to all and uh, this chapter as uh, you all must be knowing what is this chapter all about what is it all about anybody in the class what does the chapter deal with what does it talk about yes akashita hello good afternoon ma'am uh in this chapter revolves around a great uh, egyptian king whose name who is famously known as atut uh, and over here there is a mystery of his death and uh, related to that uh, there is different time period when it was discovered and uh, how uh, how much difficulties were faced uh, during that period and uh, what were the circumstances like there was a curse uh, laid upon this uh, tomb that whoever is open at first the death will follow him and there are various things uh, in death which can be read about it uh, it basically gives us a brief uh, description about how this egyptian king was yes how the egyptian king so uh, we were talking about uh, tutankhamen who was the last uh, heir of a powerful dynasty of uh, egypt and uh, the dynasty that uh, they had ruled people keep on coming in after 12 years they keep on joining in okay so uh, the family that had ruled egypt for centuries that was coming to an end that came to an end he was the last heir of that powerful family and uh, with his death there were many mysteries surrounding his death because he died at a very young age at the age of uh, 19 probably more and uh, he was just a teenager he passed away and uh, the mystery surrounds his death because nobody is clear about uh, how he died murder was also one of uh, the most uh, extreme possibilities that was considered at uh, that time and then when his tomb was when his mummy was discovered in which year was his mummy discovered what was the which year are we talking about here 1920 1922 in 1922 his uh, mummy was discovered by by whom by Howard by Carter, Howard, by Howard Carter, and uh, then there were various problems because uh, during those days it was considered that uh, the uh, uh, rich and powerful people would carry their uh, uh, wealth along with them, the riches along with them after their uh, death, after the, for their afterlife. So many things were buried along with his, along with his body, and uh, his body got cemented. How did it uh, get cemented? Yes. How and why was it somebody else apart from Akashita? I always have the same student. How many students are there in all today in the class? There are sixty-three, I guess. So in all the sixty-three, only one student is able to give the answer. That doesn't make any sense. Yes. How and why was the body cemented? Where was it cemented to, and how and why? You know, Sartha, Sartha Kabra. बोलो जल्दी बोलो क्योंकि कंप्लीट द चैप्टर यू कैन डू द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एज़ वेल जल्दी बताइए व्हाई वाज इट सिमेंटेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ व्हाट यस आरएन द आरएन मैम बिकॉज़ ऑफ द रीजंस because of the reasons the reasons they had uh, uh, cemented because they had solidified and they had cemented the body to the bottom of the coffin and uh, carter had a great difficulty in removing the body and why did he want to remove it because he knew it that if he would not do that then uh, the th thieves would dodge the uh, guards and they would uh, run away with all the gold that was there so he had to do it he had to chisel away he had to severe each and every major joint and then the body was reassembled on sand and was placed in a wooden box so and then it was taken for ct scan we were on page number let's continue from page number 26 second last paragraph a ct machine scanned the mummy head to toe creating 1700 digital x ray images x ray images in cross section cuts head scanned in 0.62 mm slices to register its intricate structures what do you understand by intricate what is complicated complicated, complicated yes complicated delicate structures were there inside it takes on eerie detail we have read about this word earlier also what do you understand by eerie eerie detail what is eerie or weird detail 
strange weird and that uh, creates a feeling of fear in you and where have we read this word earlier acha let me mute your mic let um, me shoot up yes where have we read this in word in the laburnum talk yes in the laburnum talk okay yes so it takes on eerie detail in the resulting image the image that was formed it was very weird it was very strange one with that's entire body similarly recorded a team of specialists in radiology forensics and anatomy began to probe the secrets that the winged goddesses of a gilded burial by gilded burial because it was covered all in all with gold protected for so long okay the night of the scan the day when uh, it was uh, this time that uh, it was it would be ct scan workman carried that from the tomb in his box like pall bearers they climbed a ramp and a flight of stairs into the swirling sand outside what do you understand by pall bearers who are pall bearers says like pall bearers they climbed a ramp who are pall bearers dia dia naran you want to say something the the person who help in carrying the uh, carrying the funnel uh, the not funnel they carrying uh, they help in carrying a coffin for the funeral okay yes so they are pall bearers like pall bearers they climb the ramp and a flight of stairs into the swirling sand what is the poet, uh, what is the literary device used here swirling so swirling sand literary device used here elevation. is elevation okay so what is swirling sand what is swirling sand because it was a what kind of a day was it it was a windy day so yes, that it was a yes that's why right. so it was a wind yes and then rose on a hydraulic lift what is a hydraulic lift what is a hydraulic lift science students should know it Yes, Rajdeep. Rajdeep Singh. What's the hydraulic lift? Ma'am, a machine that lifts heavy things. Heavy things under pressure. Okay, so that's a hydraulic lift. And uh, into the trailer that held the scanner. Twenty minutes later, two men emerged, sprinted for an office nearby. They, they, they hurried away towards an office nearby. Why? And they returned with a pair of plastic, uh, white plastic fans. because the million dollar scanner had quit it had stopped working because of sand in a cooler fan in one of the cooler fans the sand was stuck so it did not work at all so somebody just uh, joked a guard just joked nervously curse of the pharaoh what was the curse of the pharaoh what was the curse mummy i bad luck and uh, misfortune happens yes. to that to, to the one people. to the one who disturbs uh, him in his sleep so somebody joked that uh, the ct scan it uh, this was says the entire uh, thing the project would fail because uh, because of the because of the curse of the fire because he's been disturbed in his uh, sleep eventually the substitute fans worked well enough to finish to finish the procedure after checking that no data had been lost the technician turned that over to the workman who just carried him back to his tomb less than 3 hours after he was removed from his coffin the pharaoh again rested in peace where the funerary priest had laid him so long ago so the entire process the entire project it took uh, around 3 hours to finish back in the trailer a technician pulled up astonishing surprising images of tut on a computer screen after the ct scan a gray head took shape from a scattering of pixels what do you understand by scattering of pixels agar aap photo photography ka aapko shock hai to aapko pata hoga scattering kya hota hai what is scattering of pixels what do you mean by the scattering of pixels scattering scattering se to matlab pata hi hai aapko spreading dispersing okay scattering of pixels maybe kabhi kabhi Ma'am, maybe mm-hmm. the pixels were uh, very scattered. They were blurry type. Scattered. They were yes. So, see, okay. Then, first blur, first blurred. Then, after that, from that, a picture emerged. Okay. So, you have seen some pictures. 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 a grey head took shape from a scattering of pixels and a, and the technician spun and tilted it in every direction so wo jo head dikh raha tha usko usne sari 3d image se usko sari directions mein ghumaya 
Other images reveal the hand, several views of the ribcage, and a transection of the skull. So all the things were visible through the, from the CT scan, with the help of the CT scan. But for now, the pressure was off. Who is saying this? Zahi Havas. He smiled, visibly relieved that nothing had gone seriously wrong. I didn't sleep last night, not for a second. What does this show about him? What does this show about the Secretary General? The Secretary General? When he says that, uh, uh, when he was re relieved that nothing had gone seriously wrong, and he, when he says that I didn't sleep last night, not even, not even for a second. What does this show about him? About his character? About Zahi. Yes, so that he is very particular about things, and he's very dedicated, and he's very totally. He was focused on this particular project, and he wasn't able to. Uh, Sleep. Why was he not able to sleep? Because if he was continuously thinking of the seriousness of this uh, entire project, it's the extraction of uh, the uh, mummy and then uh, the reconstruction of it and then the CT scan and each and everything. So he was concerned about it. So that is why this shows that he was very particular and he was very dedicated to his work. And I was so worried, but now I think I can. I will just go and sleep. By the time we left the trailer, descending coming down metal stairs to the sandy ground, the wind had stopped. So the wind was going, it was stormy weather, but only for the time, only for the hours when the city uh, was, stand was going on. The winter air lay cold and still, like death itself, in this valley of the departed. Just above the entrance of Tut's tomb stood Orion. And what is Orion? It is the constellation that the ancient Egyptians knew as the soul of Osiris. And who is the soul of Osiris? The, who is Osiris? Osiris is the god of the afterlife. So it appeared as if Orion, Osiris, the god, was just watching over the boy king from above his tomb. Okay. So this is the chapter. Uh, I'd sent you certain questions, uh, the multiple choice questions. Can anyone just share them here? Is it? Yes, very good, Kartik. Yes. So who was uh, Tutankhamun? Who was he? Well, option number C, uh, Egyptian yes, king. An Egyptian king. Okay. When did he die? When did that die? Mom, A. When he was a teenager. Option, option yes. A. When he was a teenager. And if somebody is given the answer, don't uh, give it again and again because then the others also be given a chance to speak. Okay. If, if you're given the answer once, then you just keep silent. Okay, who discovered that stone and when? I'm option, option B. Option B, Harvard Carter in 1922. Yes, next. When was that uh, body taken for CT scan after being option found? B. After how many? Yes, it is option B after eight, after eight years. For how many years did M. M. Hatap? Rule Egypt for how many years? 40 it years. For 40 years. It says four decades. That means 40 years. Then the next question Who promoted the worship of Aten, the sun disk? Who was he? Option C. Option C. Amun Hotep 4. Yes. What name did Amun Hotep 4 change to? Option, option, Mom, C. what option C, option C, not A. Okay, C. So religious capital. We are not talking about the religious capital, we are talking about his name. He changed his name to Ekhenaten. Okay, for how many years did Tutankhamen rule Egypt? For how many years? Nine years. Nine. Nine years. For nine, for nine, nine. yes, for nine, nine years. Next question, next question. How would you, uh, what was found with Tutankhamun's body? Yes, question option B. Option, option B. B. Option D. Option D. Option D. Gold, wealth, bronze, razor, gay, gay clothes, cases of food and wine. Yes. How would you describe that tomb? Question number 10. How would you describe it? A. Option D. Option, option, D. D. option D. It was rock cut. It was 26 feet underground, which had wall paintings. Next. What was the in the first coffin? Option A. Option A. Option A. Option A, option A yes. 
So it was uh, garlands of olives, lotus petals, and cornflowers. Why did the third coffin put Carter in trouble? Question number twelve. Option B. Option B. Option B. Because the raisins used to cement uh, his body to the bottom of the solid gold coffin, which was hardened enough. So it had solidified, and uh, that is why it was cemented to the bottom of the coffin. Yes. Next question. Question number thirteen. How did Carter remove the raisins with the help of? Option A. With the help. Option A. With the help of chisel and hammer. How did Carter cut the body of Tut? Question number fourteen. But our option A: first head and then every limb. Next question number fifteen. By uh, what did Carter and his men do after cutting down his body? What did they do? Question number fifteen. Option C. Option C. Option C. They placed it on the layer of sand. Yes, they placed it on layer of sand in a wooden box. Next. Not A C. Sir, I'm sure it is option C. Sixteen. When was the mummy examined in X-ray by the anatomy professor in the year 1968? C. Seventeen. What facts were revealed when the mummy was X-rayed in 1968? What were the facts? Option C. Okay. Bones and ribs were missing. Next. Why? Because you keep on typing and I cannot even read the questions. एक बार आसान सा दिया करो बार बार नहीं सो इट्स डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू रीड द क्वेश्चन व्हेन यू कीप ऑन जस्ट टाइपिंग द चैट बॉक्स व्हेन वाज टच्स बॉडी टेकन फॉर सीटी स्कैन इन द 21st सेंचुरी व्हाट इज द डेट 18th क्वेश्चन यस ए पार्ट ए 2005 जनवरी 5 ओके नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बेटा 19th व्हाट डज सीटी स्कैन स्टैंड फॉर यू नो व्हाट कंप्यूटेड tomography computer tomography scan okay next is 20th how did the workman lift the body for the scan question number 20 option b, b option c b not a bachche not a b. b on a hydraulic trailer next is why did the procedure just stop in between what was the reason as as the none of the work None of the above, because it was not the spare fan yeah. that stopped working. Yeah. It was the cooler fan. It was the uh, uh, you know cooler fan, not the spare fan. So none of the above. Twenty-two. Next twenty-two. When was Tut's body taken back in his room after CT scan? After how many hours? We discussed it just now. Option B. Option B. Option B. Three hours. What was? Uh, what is the symmetry of Tut called? Yes. Valley of Kings. Valley. Yes, Valley of the Kings. A option. Next, twenty fourth. How did he die? How did he die? Mystery. Option A. Option A. It's a mystery. Yes, a. mystery is is still there, still lingering. Next, how did he die? We've done it. Who said the mummy is in very bad condition because of what Carter did in the nineteen twenties? Who said this? Option B. Option B. Yes, Zahi Hassan. Next. Twenty sixth. That was laid to rest. Laden with twenty sixth. Gold. Laden with what? Gold. 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 Yes. And when did he? When did he die? More than. Option B. Three thousand. Uh, it's actually three thousand three hundred. Yes, ma'am. Three thousand three hundred. Na, so it thirty three thousand. Look, I'm going to put three thousand three hundred. Keep it. Three thousand three hundred years ago. Okay. चेंज कर लो एक जीरो को काट देना नेक्स्ट व्हाट वाज टट लैविश्ड विद 28 क्वेश्चन व्हाट वाज ही लैविश्ड विद व्हाट वाज ही लैविश्ड विद ऑप्शन सी ग्लिटरिंग गोल्ड स्पेशल कॉलर्स इनलेड नेकलेसेस ब्रेसलेट्स रिंग्स एमुलेट्स सेरेमोनी लेफ्टन सैंडल्स शीट्स फॉर हिज फिंगर्स एंड टोज ऑल ऑफ प्योर गोल्ड यस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर 29 हाउ वाज How has archaeology changed to the decades? Option very simple. D. Option D, focusing less on treasure and more on the fascinating details of life and the mysteries of death. And who is Osiris? We care him. God of afterlife. God of afterlife. Yes. Okay, you can stop sharing. Thank you so much. And let's discuss the textbook questions.
to discuss the textbook question and some more questions. <coughs> Page number 28, understanding the text. Give reasons for the body. King Tut's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny. Why so? Why has his body been repeatedly scrutinized? Why so? Not Akashita, somebody else. Body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny. Why? Yes, Russian. King Tut's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny because of his history, his treasures which he was buried with, and to know the reason behind his death. Yes, to know that to undergo the mystery behind his death because there were so, so many mysteries surrounded uh, with his death. So, and you can talk about uh, who was he, he was the last heir of a powerful dynasty that had ruled Egypt and its empire for centuries. And then he died suddenly, he became a, a ruler at the age of most probably 9 or 10 and he died suddenly in, uh, the, in teenage only. He died at a very young age. So once his mummy was discovered, then what happened? In the year 1922, his mummy was discovered and then uh, his body was scrutinized, the uh, mummy was scrutinized in order to unravel, in order to reveal the mysteries that surrounded his death. Okay, question number two, why was uh, Harvard Carter's investigation resented? Why was his investigation re resented? Why was the investigation resented? Yes, Tia Naran. Because of the hardened raisins, it becomes impossible to remove the mummy from its coffin. Cart uh, Carter had to use a chisel. The mummy's head and all major joints had to be removed pieces by piece. It was yeah. thought that Car Char Carter had damaged the mummy. That was why. Yes, they it was that. That was why it was presented. It was thought that it was. Uh, he had damaged it, he had totally disfigured it. So that is why it was resented. Next question says, Carter had to chisel away the solidified raisins to raise king remains. Why did he have to chisel away? We've just discussed it. Yes, Sarah Jodh. Uh, Ma'am, Carter had to chisel away the solidified raisins to raise the king's remains as the raisins had cemented that to the bottom of his solid gold coffin. Yes, because his body, it was his mummy was cemented to the bottom of the solid gold coffin. That is why. So, and he there was a fear in his mind. What was the fear? He feared that if he wouldn't do that, then what would happen? Somebody else has to give the answer now. Not Sarab Jodh or Aurakashita or Rashmi, somebody else. What was the fear in his mind? Why did he have to chisel away? Why did he have to remove? Why did he have to break each and every joint? Somebody else, Akashita, not you. What was the fear that was there in his mind? Did he think that if he would not do that, then what would happen? Ma'am, because of the thieves, ma'am, if the, yes. the, the thieves yes. would have ripped it apart to remove the gold. To get the gold. So they would have ripped the body apart. They would have totally destroyed the mummy in order to get hold of the gold. Okay. Next question says, that spot, that body was buried along with gilded treasures. Why? Why was his body buried along with gilded treasures? The branch. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Bolo. Bolo, bolo. Aage bolo. This time the royals were fabulously wealthy and thought that they could take their riches with them. Yes. So they were fabulously wealthy. They were so rich and they thought that uh, they were close to him. What? And Mol Gupta, what do you mean? What do you mean to say by this? They were close to whom? Who were close to whom? So be clear in uh, what, whatever you are saying, Bache. So they were rich and they thought that they could carry their wealth uh, along with uh, them to their afterlife. And uh, also the, there was a belief that the eternal shine of those, uh, the treasures, the eternal shine uh, would guarantee what? Revival from the grave. It would guarantee resurrection of the, for the great king. Okay. Next question says, the boy king changed his name from Tutankhaten to Tutankhamun. Why? Why, why did he change his name from Tutankhaten to Tutankhamun? Those who have given the answer need not reply. Somebody else has to. Somebody else from the class? Rashtan has already replied. Responded Divyansh also, Sarab Jyot, Akarshita, the same student. Somebody else needs to respond today. RN, you've also given so many answers. Somebody else. 
we have 64 students out why did it yes ma'am call man call respond uh, the boy changed his name from tutan khatin to tutan khamun because he wanted the restoration of the old ways yes he wanted the yes. restoration of the oh, very good he wanted the old restoration ways. of the old ways and he thought that he was uh, he considered himself to be the living image of living amul. image of amul yes because this, that was who was amul who was amul he was so he was yes arin arin ma'am he was a major god in asia yes Egypt. he was the major god in ancient egypt and uh, and he wanted to restore all those old ways for the people of egypt next say next question says list the deeds that led ray johnson to describe ekenaten as wacky why did he call him crazy or wacky why was he termed wacky Wacky means crazy. Wacky means irrational. Wacky means mad, eccentric, strange. What was the reason for uh, terming him, for calling him as wacky? It cannot be. What did he do? What did it cannot be do? That he got this name. Yes, Tushita. Tushita Lehman. Ma'am, he moved the religious capital from the old city of the Thebes to the new city of Akhenaten, known as Amarna. He smashed yes. the images of Amun, a major god, and closed his temples. These deeds Very led good. with Johnson to discuss. And he started, yes, and he started the worship of worship of Aten the sun disk. He did each and everything, and he initiated a kind of a period that was that is considered to be one of the strangest periods in uh, the history of Egypt. and uh, the time that he uh, uh, the time that he ruled that time is called the horrible or horrific time because of the things that the deed that he did he started worship of aten and the sun disk he moved the religious capital from uh, uh, thebes to amarna to akhenaten and then he attacked uh, Am amun the major god he smashed his images he closed the temples so the reign the entire reign was a horrible period a horrific time in the history of egypt so that is why Ray Johnson very aptly calls him wacky. What were the results of the CT scan? What did the CT scan reveal? It revealed astonishing images. What were they? Again, the same students. Yes, Dia. Me was scanned from head to toe. Uh, to. The astonishing images of Tut were seen on the computer screen. The technician spun Tut's head in every direction. Images of yes. head and the neck vertebrae were also been seen. It was found that yes, they were seen. Had... They were seen. Yes, they were seen, and they were very clear. And they were as clear as they could be in an 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 anatomy class. And then there were various other images of the hand, the images of rib cage. There was a transection of skull and uh, neck vertebrae. Everything was visible. Next is list the advances in technology that have improved forensic analysis. What are the advances? First of all, there's a shift in the focus. Shift. What is the? What is that shift in the focus? From from there is a shift in focus from what to what? No, no. Because of the advancement in the in technology, there has been a shift from the use of yes, Devraj, from the use of X-rays to CT scan. Okay, from the use of X-rays to CT scan. But what is the focus? How has the focus shifted from? Yeah. 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 The focus has been shifted from the treasures to the mysterious death that has happened to the history. Yes, uh, not, not, not only not only the mysteries of death, but the details of life, fascinating details of life also, and mysteries of death. So there is there is a shift in focus from the treasure. Raga, um, explain the statement. King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned in death as in life. Explain it. 
we've discussed it is was the first mummy to be stand in death as in life hurry up hurry up give the answer okay divyansh bolo jaldi ma'am king tut's mummy was the first which was ct scan the results of the ct scan revealed new clues about his life and death please elaborate somebody else this is Yes, ma'am. So over here, he, it was his first mummy, which was firstly scanned, uh, who was mm-hmm. CT scanned, and secondly, yes. as in life, also he was the first teenager who ruled the Egyptian. Yes. And we talk about his life as well, not only his death. Okay, his uh, his mummy was the first one to be CT CT scanned. That is okay, but you need to talk about his life as well because he uh, you you need to talk about the time, the age at which uh, he became a ruler. It was he was uh, he was a as well. a very young age at a tender age of 8 or 9 or 10 and then he died uh, in teenage itself so that is why he was head way head of his country man uh, in each and everything okay then um, it, this and then his mummy was the first one to be ct scanned so it was the first mummy to enjoy this privilege of uh, of an advanced self okay so that is all about the extra questions let's discuss a few extra questions and that would be all for today Okay, we have uh, you have to complete the assignment, the multiple choice questions and textbook questions, and you have to send them to me on my number by Thursday, 5 p.m. And there was some. What was the cause of Zahi Hawa's worry and his relief? What was the cause of his worry? And uh, why was he relieved? Yes. What was the cause of his worry and uh, how did how how was he eventually relieved? Tell me, tell me. Hurry up, hurry up! I keep on waiting for you to for you people to respond. I'm so happy that you are. Why is such a passive class? Yes, Akash, Tata. Next class. So his cause of worry was that something should not went wrong because it was said that. Wrong, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Because uh, it was said that whatever, uh, whoever will uh, disturb him from his sleep uh, has to face some circumstances. So that's why he was worried that nothing should went uh, should go wrong. Uh, and the yeah. relief was that everything was fine and the result was yeah. okay. And uh, there was no uh, mystery or anything which went through uh, during this process. Yes. So he was he was tense because he had been given the responsibility because he was the secretary the secretary general of uh, Supreme Council of Antiquities. So he had that responsibility, and uh, it was on his shoulders that everything should go on smoothly without any problem. So and uh, when it went on well, he was tense and worried because you know in, in between one of the fans had also stopped working because sand was stuck there. So he was eventually was obviously worried, but then uh, when everything went on well, so he was. Relieved because no major delay or no major uh, glitch was there. Okay. Next question is: uh, What was the Pharaoh's curse, and how did it prove ominous? What was the Pharaoh's curse? Everybody knows what the curse was, and how did it prove ominous? Tavnish. What was the Pharaoh's curse? The check. Yeah. Lavnish, bolo. Man, the Pharaoh's curse was that 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 or misfortune would fall upon those who disturbed him during his sleep. And uh, why? Uh, and how did it prove ominous? What happened on that day, on fifth of January, two thousand five, when his mummy was taken out for CT scan? What happened? How was the atmosphere like? Outside and what all things uh, went wrong? How did it prove ominous? How? Again, na kash kita. I fail to understand. What about the other students? Bolo. Uh, well, it was about uh, that the, his body would be taken, and that day came. Uh, it was a uh, very uh, grey. Uh, the uh, the skies were grey. The stars were hidden uh, in like a treasure in a treasure as the grey cloud covered them. Uh, and it was a stormy wind, and uh, nothing seemed to be right at that day. Yes. It was like that uh, that curse came true. And then one more thing, the fan, the fan of the CT scan uh, machine, it was yes, uh, jammed uh, because sand was stuck there. 
So uh, it, it appeared as if uh, the curse was about to come true. And uh, therefore, and uh, the guard had, uh, one of the guards had also remarked this, even though jokingly, that uh, curse of the Pharaoh. So this is uh, all about this chapter. Let's move on to the attendance part. While I take your attendance, you can uh, think of anything that you want to ask from the chapter. And you have to complete your work along with the assignment, textbook questions, and send them to me by Thursday. Little.